Hey everyone, thank you for checking out this week's webisode. I'm Jeff Phillips with InFocus Studios and every week we bring in a different expert within an industry to share tips and ideas about their industry. And today I have Tracy. Tracy, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? Okay, thank you. Um, my name is Tracy Phillips. I am a holistic health coach uh, and educator. And essentially what I do is I help people find what they're looking for in life um, using their health as a vehicle. Okay. So once you uh, explain, you know, what is the holistic approach and, and why do you feel that is uh, the way people need to address not only their health concerns, but everything else that they do or they're trying to improve in their lives? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, what is holistic health? And, you know, I believe in not just holistic health, but the holistic approach, as you, as you mentioned, um, being, you know, taking into consideration literally the whole package, you know, so looking at somebody's life, not just um, compartmentalizing, you know, as we do in healthcare, you know, Western medicine, it's very compartmentalized. We have special specialists in different areas focusing on different parts of the body, but a lot of times we, we lose sight of the fact that it's all connected. So the holistic approach is looking at not only with holistic health, you know, your body, but also looking at your emotions, looking at the environment you live in, looking at the work you do, looking at the relationships you have. You know, the whole life of the person is very significant because it all has an impact equally. Okay. So going into the new year, people are often both excited and concerned about, you know, where they are and where they're going mm -hmm. and uh, what they want to accomplish. What do you have to say about this? Well, you know, it's, it's interesting because a lot of people do say, you know, what, I, I have all of these things, these distractions in my life. You know, I, I don't really feel like I'm able to lose the weight or, you know, eat the way I'm supposed to eat or whatever because I'm distracted. And, you know, there's a couple pieces that I like to, you know, kind of feed into that particular concern. And certainly the new year is kind of a time that we kind of stepped back enough to look at those desires. You know, and one is be true to yourself. You know, I think that there's, there's a real impact when we learn the, um, the gift of being able to say no so that we can ultimately say yes to the things that are important to us. And so really weeding out the different things we need to be doing uh, as opposed to the things that maybe we've just signed up for because we haven't, you know, we haven't been on autopilot. We really haven't. We've just been taking things on. Um, and that can really come in, you know, come into play because we have so many roles, you know, and really what happens is all these distractions, these roles end up hijacking, you know, ourselves from our own lives. And so it's, it's about really looking at our roles from a place of empowerment and serving from that, from that place as opposed to disempowerment where we're just giving our energy away. Uh, we're just going, again, and on autopilot and doing what we think we should be doing as opposed to really uh, delving deep inside and asking ourselves, is this something I want to be doing? Um, and then the other piece is to just bring yourself forward. You know, people, uh, overwhelm is just brought on because we are off course. When we feel overwhelmed, it means that we're feeding too much of ourselves into things we don't want to. And it's our body's way of saying that we're doing this. And so being, you know, really not um, succumbing to the expectations of others, but really going inside to figure out what it is, you know, that you want to be doing. You know, who do you want to be? What do you want to be putting out there in the world? And ultimately, what is your purpose? You know, what, what, how do you want to serve um, yourself and others, you know, in this lifetime? Okay. So I know you talk a lot about learning to be comfortable in your discomfort, in your discomfort, discomfort. Mm -hmm. um, what does this mean and how does one go about doing this? So the other way of looking at that is, you know, is, is to be able to, to, you know, not sweat the small stuff. You know, we've heard that expression many, many times. And, and essentially what that means to me and, you know, what I educate on is that, you know, we, we really need to look at the gifts at all times. You know, it's, it's very easy to do when things are going well. But it's a lot more uncomfortable to and harder to do when things aren't going well. But yet, at every point in our lives, you know, it's it's about looking at life instead of saying life happens to us, that life happens for us, because the perspective of life happening to us oftentimes puts us in a victimized, you know, position. Uh, when you look at life happening for you, you're seeing it's seen as a the life being you know the unfoldment of your life being a guidance that it's there to support you on the avenue that you're 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 meant to go on. And so it's, I think it's really looking at, you know, looking at that piece and, and realizing that, you know, in all of it, I, I use the analogy of childbirth all the time. I remember myself being at that pinnacle point where you, you want to turn back, but you can't turn back. And you, you just have to move through it. 
you know, but every time in life when we sit with our, get comfortable with our discomfort, that is the time when the biggest birth happens. That is when the enlightenment happens. That is when the best information, the best guidance that we get in life comes. And so, you know, really I, I work with my clients on that, you know, from a health perspective, but like I said, holistic translates into every other aspect of life. Mm -hmm. So... Okay, well, yeah. great. Thank you for the information. And for those of you out there that would like to find out more about Tracy and maybe if she can help you or someone that you care about, check out her website at the end of this video. And if you'd like to uh, 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 continue this conversation online, fill out the box below this video and we certainly will do that. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care and bye-bye.